in solar lamps we are we are given points some some direction and also threshold for every point how many lamps need to light this one so it would also turn on plus we are given permutation right permutation of just order one two three four lamps will be turned on either in the normal order one two three up to n or maybe if enough lamps light on this one already the thing the first thing to do is to get rid of those stupid angles and for that what would very much help is if you know linear algebra because for some people it's obvious that we can transform this drawing a little bit uh, one approach for that is to say that a point sees another point let's say this one sees a point four so let's say there we say there is an edge from one to four if along those directions four must be more to the right so it would be inside this area this angle and mm, the same for those directions four must be more in that direction so what we can do is once sweep everything like that in this order this is first thing then in this second order and in both cases we enumerate vertices in that case uh, in that thing and this will give us two coordinates for example here mm, maybe with another color uh, I don't know why it is okay so the vertex 2 vertex 2 will get coordinate or maybe for one sweep we will get order 2 1 3 4 5 if there is a tie between 1 and 4 1 and 3 those two I decided in such a way that still th they will be possible one should be before 3 so the ties will be decided by the second direction for the second direction we have what like that one five three two four and now for every point i can get coordinates for example point two has coordinates one and four which one it is in each of those directions and i can put it here two has coordinates one and four uh, one has coordinates two and one and so on five has coordinates uh, five and two I will finish actually. Three, three, and four has four, five. Then we can redo the drawing, putting them with those coordinates we calculated. Uh, for example, two, one, four, one, uh, three, three, five, two, four, five one four and now uh, what happens is that we can say that one sees everything that is here uh, three sees anything that is here and so on uh, what happens is that we actually had a drawing like that with those angles and we mm, expanded it a little bit we transformed a drawing a little bit preserving the fact which vertex sees which one or which point sees which one mm. in linear algebra this would be finding coordinates in some different linear base usually we, we operate with axes like that where this is vector one zero and this is vector zero one but also it's possible to get coordinates in base uh, in the given base th those angles so this is some vector and some other vector also we can get coordinates in those bases uh, one nice thing that we also get is that coordinates are now in interval 1 to n so it's easier to do sweep lines or segment trees stuff like that uh, what happened is we now can say that the drawing is like that 
and from every point you see everything here. Uh, plus card oh, ex one extra thing is the first one was that interval is from 1 to n the second one is that now everything is distinct because we already distinct we already resolved ties uh, so that's nice and makes the problem easier let's solve this easier version of solar lamps uh, if pr a point sees everything that is up and to the right for sure we should think about segment trees or a sweep line the thing is that sweep line we can only use if we can once go through everything not if some new things appear in this problem we are given the order in which new uh, lamps are turned on this is because because of that we cannot use the sweep line we could use two-dimensional segment tree that uh, what would it done at the beginning it would in every point i will put that value three one two that says how many things i need to put to turn it on automatically then what happens when i turn on some uh, lamp is that in i need to tell segment tree that in some area sweep line is scan line uh, yes i think so uh, so this is that thing where if you are given a bunch of points you sort them by let's say x and you move with sweep line maybe it's also scan line and with this order you consider those or maybe from right to left mm, this is for example, if for every point we wanted to just compute the number of points that are in this area, what we would do is go from left to right, on a segment tree store the number of things for every y, and once our sweep line or scan line is at this position, we ask about the number of things that are below this value of y. I mean, below this value of y, here. So I hope that we think about the same thing. Mm. okay uh, yeah uh, for two-dimensional segment trees without a sweep line what we could do is say for everything in this area put minus one and also give me minimum this is a very standard and important technique to find where some num some point exceeds some threshold easier version of that would be a segment a segment tree just built on a sequence let's say that the sequence is two uh, two two three one four one something something and we are given queries in this interval put minus one to everything okay i do it it's easy to done with it's easy with segment tree but also let's say here also minus one then it's one zero three plus every time we need to report the number of zeros um, and how to do it if we need to subtract one and report the number of zeros or basically find when some number reaches zero uh, then we in that segment restore the minimum in interval and when we notice that after change the minimum in the tree is zero we find that thing it's uh, the most straightforward way for that is if you know that minimum in the whole tree is zero then look start from the root you have some children let's say they their minima is two and zero and go to that child that also has zero and continue you will get to a leaf that has zero then report that here i found value zero and change this value to plus infinity so it wouldn't be changed anymore I mean, it wouldn't be still treated as zero because that would mess up our minimum in the tree this is how we can solve a problem you're given a bunch of queries for this interval decrease everything by one and if there is a zero somewhere say that there is a zero report where it is everything will up, will change to zero at most once so at most n times something will happen and you will make that log of n path to the leaf 
here we have the same thing in two dimensions where we can say that we mm, subtract one from everything in the area and if minimum is zero we find that point and we say oh you also this lamp should be turned on and we repeat from that and change its old threshold to plus infinity uh, this is log square solution with big memory and big constant factor it isn't convenient to, to implement this wasn't intended mm, and i'm not sure if it fits in the memory is it log square maybe it isn't log square uh, segment trees aren't mm, segment trees are usually linear not log square <coughs> but still memory will be a bit bigger because we have uh, this must be dynamic it's two-dimensional trees aren't that easy to implement and they have some extra unnecessary values so that's for sure wasn't the intended solution we'll now learn the technique that was the intended solution and that is to do divide and conquer over queries so the thing we do is divide and conquer for queries and there will be a similar problem that I put in Google sheet that you should solve it's called meteors or maybe meteorites also from Polish Olympiad mm. what happens when you're given a bunch of things that happen and those things are that just lamp one is uh, turns on then lamp two lamp three four five six seven eight we do divide and conquer so we split at this moment and we process the queries that are on the left mm. so we have some lamps and when we say that those lamps one two three and four should be on and then we can do a sweep line mm. from left to right or from right to left i don't think it's a big difference uh, and yeah from left to right is easier because what happens is from this moment i want to say that everything there gets plus one or minus one whatever mm. and this time it's not two dimensional tree because we can do sweep line we already know which lamps are on Mm. and mm. and we find which other lamps are on because their threshold was exceeded let's say this one was some new lamp that is on and this one as well uh, say that those have indices i don't know five and seven they shouldn't be on but their threshold was already exceeded what do we do then we i want to because this is divide and conquer i want to go recursively to the left part and to the right part and the thing is that for the right part i only want to process vertices i mean points six and eight uh, because those are still off five and seven are already on actually what, what i will first do is i will go to the left part but not to process vertices one two three four but i will say that um, i also care what happens with those one two three four five and seven so i go recursively to the left part for i will then split here between two and three but i want to keep track of lamps one two three four five and seven when I will go later to the right, I only move to six and eight, and I want to know already after the after process after processing the left part, I want to know what is the remaining threshold of six and eight. How many more lamps should light at six and eight to turn them on? Uh, so what will happen in general if we imagine segmentary of recursion? So first we run for the whole interval, for interval from 1 to 8, 
mm, maybe I will make it bigger for interval from 1 to 8 we got vertices 1, 2 and so on up to 8 then 1 to 4 and 5 to 8 uh, those are intervals of queries that happen I, and I care about but here I have vertices 1, 2 or lumps 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 and here only 6 and 8 then I split even further maybe for example for 1 and 2 I have 1, 2 and 3 and here I have the remaining ones for 3, 4 I have 4, 5, 7 mm. and so on mm. what happens let's say here is I cannot process those lamps and for each of them check which of all the n lamps will be will decrease their threshold because that would be linear for every um, vertex of this segment tree of recursion I only keep track of those that are given and because the number of levels here is log of n the depth this is depth of recursion and on each level the sum of vertices that I track is linear because every vertex is was put only to one of those recursion calls so for each of log levels there are only n things and because I use a sweep line the complexity of taking taking care of those n things is n log n times the depth of recursion the number of times we will repeat something for all n things and the complexity will be n log square n Mm. so that's the solution mm. it isn't very easy and you should solve this problem and meet yours to like really make sure that you understand it so once again when we are anywhere let's say first for the whole interval from 1 to 8 I want to uh, for those lamps I want to know where each of lamps 1, 2, up to 8 will be turned on maybe by other lights and exceeding the threshold I split in the middle so between 4 and 5 I process only lamps on the left 1, 2, 3 and 4 because of that after I process those I know um, we af after all of those are on I know which ones from those to the right will be on as well maybe 5 and 7 then I want to know when exactly 5 and 7 will be on so I pass 5 and 7 to that left side of the recursion to say when considering 1, 2 and later 3 and 4 also keep track of 5 and 7 I want to know when exactly 5 and 7 are on but then later if we go to the right you don't care at all about 5 and 7 because you know they were on on the left nothing new will happen with them so then the complexity of that what wouldn't be all of four um, we don't have everything in interval 5 8 we have some subset it's just that on every level of recursion the vertices lamps will be split into some groups each lamp will be in exactly one group and only in that place we want to um, keep track of what exactly happens with that thing mm. yep so sweep line will work for everything in O of s log s where s is the number of things here actually not s log s I think it's better to make it s log n where segment there is one already created segment tree that has size n and you just keep reusing it after using it for some vertex just clear values that you put to be non-zero to then be able to reuse it again remember that values are from 1 to n 